Over the years, we've gone to many videos that delve deep into shiny Pokemon, some of which were focused on shiny Pokemon that appear in the anime. And while this topic isn't focusing solely on the anime, it is commonly brought up that I missed a certain Pokemon from the anime that was thought to be shiny, but actually wasn't. This common mistake stems from some Pokemon, usually in the anime, appearing as different colors, but aren't the specific shiny color. Because while shiny Pokemon might just be a color change, it's a specific rare color change that classifies a Pokemon as shiny. This is why things like Alcremie's alternate colors, or Favillon's different color patterns aren't shiny, even if they are different colors. And I understand not everyone would know specifically what every shiny Pokemon's exact color is, so when you see a differently colored, oh let's pick a random Pokemon Butterfree, you might think it's a shiny color, even though it's not. And I get that, but the damage is already done. So I decided to find the 10 most common Pokemon in all the Pokemon, both in the anime and in the games, that are mistaken for shiny Pokemon, as there are quite a lot that were commented on, asking how could I forget them. Today we have for you all the 10 Pokemon you thought were shiny, but aren't. Number 10. The Pink Rhyhorn. While it isn't specifically just Rhyhorn, the Pink Rhyhorn from the episode In the Pink is the most memorable color change non-shiny Pokemon that sticks out when thinking back to this specific episode. There were multiple pink Pokemon on the island, like Nidoking and Nidoran, so you may remember one of those more closely. But Rhyhorn is the one that's primarily brought up. Probably because purple to pink isn't that much of a drastic change, like both Derek Gray is to Passion Pink. Shiny Pokemon weren't introduced until the second generation, so while this is from a Generation 1 episode, it is the episode that a lot of people think back to about how there was an island of pink Pokemon who were not their natural color and decided to dye themselves a different color for their streams. This stemmed quite a few comments saying how there was an island of shiny pink Pokemon, which, while it isn't true, is understandable when you are first introduced to shiny Pokemon in the second generation, and then think back to all those pink Pokemon and go, wait, aren't those ones shiny too? It may have even made you look back to pink Pokemon who aren't from that episode, but from a much, much more popular episode, and think that that was shiny as well. <clears throat> These are their actual shinies, and while I can agree some of these might have been better staying as pink, it didn't stop the Pokemon company from further confusing people by making half the shinies in the second generation's Pokedex pink on their own accord. Number 9. Ashes Melton On the lighter side of things, Ashes Melton is also mistaken as a shiny Pokemon by in-depth viewers who own a microscope. You can barely tell that Ash's Melton has changed, however if you see it in this picture, you can notice it does have a darker nut compared to the rest of the Melton. Ash's Melton is another somewhat color change Pokemon, and while it isn't the actual shiny Pokemon, it is really easy to confuse seeing as this is actual shiny Melton. I know, basically the same color. Even the Pokemon Go poster for shiny Melton's limited time return is almost the same as the anime picture we just showed. While Ash's Melton's Hexnut and Shiny Melton's Hexnut are both darker and nearly the same color, Ash's Melton's is actually slightly lighter than Shiny Melton's. But the big defining difference to let you know that they are in fact different is that Shiny Melton has a blue tail and Ash's Melton has a red tail. Just like regular Melton. Ash's Melton isn't brought up as much as other Pokemon on this list, but it's a nice one to note as this is just about as close as it gets in similarity and even shows another example of a barely changed, easy to miss and mistake shiny Pokemon. Number 8 Moving away from the anime, we actually have a Pokemon that even I've mistaken for shiny in-game because it's such a random color change. In Pokemon Diamond and Pearl we have Pokemon like Wormadam and Gastrodon that have different forms. These are location based and usually have enough differences for players to tell they're just forms and not shiny versions, although some might get tricked still. But one Pokemon has such a changed version that if it's been a while and you see it in the wild or on someone's team, you might think that the female Hippowdon is a shiny Pokemon. I've even been tricked by this myself, where I completely forgot Hippowdon had different colors. And as it has that sleek black look, you might think, wow, that's a great shiny form. No, its shiny form is this, and this, because it even has a different shiny color for each gender as well. And to further prove that I'm not the only one making this mistake, if you search shiny Hippowdon, the first question that pops up that people also ask is, is black Hippowdon shiny? So unfortunately, this has happened to a few people. It is a pretty random Pokemon to color swap, though. 
Number 7. Rotom Phone While there are a lot of different Rotom Phones in the anime, the primary Rotom Phone that gets confused as being a shiny Pokemon is in Pokemon Journeys when the shiny hunter shows off his collection of shiny Pokemon. Now I understand this, you get to see a shiny hunter in the anime for the first time, he has his own shiny Pokemon right beside him with the Psyduck, he's showing off his collection, the adrenaline is pumping, all that's in the air is shiny Pokemon and that's all anyone can think about while watching this scene, and then you see a blue Rotom phone and think the anime is trying to pull a fast one on you. However, this isn't a shiny, and there are quite a few different colors of Rotom phones in the Pokemon universe that are seen throughout the anime as well, and are just a color change the same way you'd pick a different color for your new phone, and are just as common. The closest color to the actual Rotom Shiny is Raihan's Rotom phone, however that one also isn't shiny. Number 6. The Purple Kecleon Whether your first encounter with the Purple Kecleon was in the anime, or in the Mystery Dungeon games, it was a surprise to see a Pokemon with the color change so casually integrated. I say it was very casual in how the Purple Kecleon was presented because it seemed so seamless that it looked like it could be obtainable in the main games, but wasn't. I primarily remember it from my first encounter with it in the first Mystery Dungeon games, and when I saw it, I immediately thought, oh that must be a shiny Kecleon, cool. And I didn't question it once. I played 80 hours in that game, never once thought it was anything but shiny, because I never encountered Kecleon shiny in the main games. And then I was even more surprised when I found out this was Kecleon's actual shiny. You have the blueprints right there, Game Freak, what kind of change is this? Okay, to be fair, up until Generation 5, it had a little more contrast and was more teal on its body, so that was fine, and then Generation 6 popped in, and it's basically the same color with only a blue stripe. Purple Kecleon just felt like the staple colored Pokemon of side games after its appearance in the anime. And it looks so neat, I wouldn't think twice about questioning whether this was shiny or not if I saw it, because I already didn't think twice. But it really does blend into the shiny Pokedex rather well, and should have been the real design choice. Number 5 Another special Pokemon that has brought up a lot when wondering why this wasn't the real shiny version of a certain Pokemon was Crystal Onyx. Just how could this not be the pick? If you're going to change Charizard's color over the generations, spread some of that over here. Imagine Crystal Onyx as the shiny Pokemon you encounter when running into Wild Onyx, and then having that evolve into a Diamond Steelix and catching these Diamond Hands. The anime did have another episode in Pokemon Black and White with the real shiny Onyx, and upon seeing this, a lot of comments mentioned how they thought it was just a discoloration to give it a different look from the rest of the pack of Onyx as it was the leader and then realized it was a discoloration, it was just also its official shiny. Like, if we put the real shiny onyx on the left half of the screen, and the crystal onyx on the right half of the screen, with a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser in the middle, that's basically a before and after advertisement that'll make them go out of stock. What makes even less sense is the crystal color is shinier than the dung brown, so by astute defining of words, crystal onyx is more shiny. Honorable Mention A small honorable mention actually goes to James's Magikarp from the Magikarp Salesman because although in the anime there are three appearances of the actual shiny version of Magikarp, a lot of people kept mentioning that James's Magikarp that he got from the Salesman was shiny. What makes this an honorable mention, and not part of this list, is that the Magikarp Salesman never had a Magikarp that had to change color in any way, whether it was the one that was sold to James or Jesse. But it was commented on so many times, and then when I asked, everyone said they got it wrong and misremembered it. But I'm just curious how this is a thing that popped up multiple times from multiple different people. I'm just wondering if I'm missing something. I'm just really curious that maybe there was a version of the episode with it being miscolored that was never documented because it was mentioned that James had a shiny Magikarp a lot of times, and he only got one that wasn't even changed in color. It's just an interesting different Pokemon that a lot of fans thought was shiny, but was the furthest thing from shiny. Not blaming anyone, I just think this is an interesting phenomenon. Number 4. Ash's Gengar Now this is one of the most understandable Pokemon to mistake for a shiny Pokemon. Not just because it's close to the color of shiny Gengar, but because shiny Gengar is close to the color of just Gengar. In the same way that shiny Gengar is barely changed, Ash's Gengar is also barely changed. Albeit, slightly changed. Ash's Gengar is actually a light purple, which is different from how Gengar normally appears in the anime, with its original dark purple color scheme as you can see here in the second episode of the same Pokemon Journey season, just with a different Gengar. 
Now look, if you got these mixed up and thought it was a shiny, then by all means it's not your fault. And I'm not being picky with these, I'm just listing off what's considered official by the Pokemon Company. Because let me take you through the generations of Gengar. Generation 2 had a super dark purple, Generation 3 lightened up the purple, Generation 5 darkened it to a lighter purple, then Generation 2, and then Generation 6 accidentally faded the purple color in the wash, and from there on, that's just Gengar's standard in-game color. But then the shiny is like a slightly more grayed purple, and then the anime's regular non-shiny Gengar is darker, and then Ash's Gengar is just another shade of purple that's not considered the original Gengar purple. Look, I didn't take enough art classes for this, so I'm sure most of us are confused here. I think it's even mentioned in Pokemon Journeys that Ash's Gengar is a different color from normal Gengar's. Which it is, but it's also mentioned, so it was a conscious choice. Shiny Gengar also appears in one of the movies, so with these three anime pictures of Gengar, it really isn't your fault if you thought this was shiny. Number 3. Ho-Oh. The first Pokemon to appear that could be mistaken for a shiny Pokemon is the Ho-Oh from the first episode of Pokemon after Ash is coming out of his delirious attack by bird state. At this point, shiny Pokemon weren't invented yet, they still had those experiments running in the lab, and as such, this Ho-Oh could not be shiny. Even though it is a Generation 2 Pokemon showing up in Generation 1, shiny Pokemon weren't introduced, they just wanted to show off Ho-Oh for a later game. It's also not shiny, because while it's understandable to mistake this as shiny due to the front portion of Ho-Oh's real shiny being a similar gold color, this is supposed to be a regular Ho-Oh who is radiating in this golden light as a message to Ash who's starting his journey. One main thing that shows it isn't shiny is that it doesn't have the other colors like the silver metallic looking feathers and beak. The scene is also recreated in the Pokemon movie that's a recreation of Ash's first journey which shows the ho is just ho -Oh. Number 2. The Pink Butterfree This is the Pokemon that stemmed this whole list because it's the most mistaken for a shiny Pokemon Pokemon. Firstly, this would again make a better shiny version to Butterfree than this, which is the actual shiny Butterfree. But this really is Butterfree's shiny colors, and it's the only shiny Butterfree that there is. However, with how memorable this episode was for a lot of fans, as Ash released his Butterfree to go on with his pink Butterfree, it's no wonder a lot of people would get it confused with being shiny. However, let's be a little nicer. Maybe when someone comments and says, you missed the shiny pink Butterfree, and I, or someone else goes, Hey pal, I know it's a different color, but unfortunately it's not shiny. We don't have to respond with, Yes it is, how do you make Pokemon videos and not know this, where do you live? What do I say to that, okay? I'm not, I'm, I'm not even wrong here, but what do I say at that point? I mean, I've been thinking about this topic for months, you just got here, alright? I've been here, I've been sitting in my chair all day thinking about this one portion of a topic, you just showed up. Pink Butterfree isn't shiny, but is definitely another Pokemon that should have been considered for a shiny rework, or even an alternate form in the games. Maybe regular Butterfree and Pink Butterfree will open up a group therapy clinic beside the Kecleon shop. Number 1. Anime Toxicroak This had to be number 1, as it's incredibly understanding why this is mistaken, even though it isn't a shiny Pokemon. I do know this is a different color than the in-game Toxicroak, but it isn't actually an alternate color either. It's just the anime's coloration that they chose to use. The one that's specifically called into question is Saturn from Team Galactic's Toxicroak, which is a lighter color than the darker blue Toxicroak in the games. However, Toxicroak makes multiple appearances in the anime as this color. Here we see multiple Toxicroak on the hill in the anime, all as the same color, and in Pokemon Journeys, a Team Rocket Grunt also has a Toxicroak with this color. One thing that even makes this the anime color, and shows it isn't even an alternately colored Pokemon, like the Pink Butterfree or Crystal Onyx, is that it appears during a Pokemon quiz and the Who's That Pokemon segment. Which means the creators decide this would be the normal color, and it's just a random Toxicroak that isn't anyone's, or in the wild. It's just popping up during a Who's That Pokemon. Now I do admit it is similar to the actual shiny Toxicroak, and I understand that this is the most random decision in the anime to have a Toxicroak as a different color than the games, but the defining difference from the shiny Toxicroak and the normal anime Toxicroak is that the ball on the bottom of its chin, as well as the parts of its body that are normally supposed to be red, are actually a pinkish light purple. Whereas all these parts are red on the anime Toxicroak. I know, it's not that different. But it is, 